and welcome along and welcome to this first look at Maple Farm by Cavalier Roy. This is available for PC, Mac, uh, PS4, PS5, Xbox and Xbox Series X. Uh, it is an Irish map. It has 128 fields. Um, and is apparently really, really customizable, but we'll have a look at that a bit later. First, let's have a look at the map itself. Uh, as I said, it has 128 fields, uh, all of varying sizes, but nothing that is uh, overly large. Lots of fairly rectangular fields, especially around the edge. But we do have some uh, stranger shaped fields as well. Uh, as far as cost, all of these fields are individual ones. Doesn't look like there are any multiple field uh, purchasing sites. Uh, what is our smallest? Looks like 109 for just 17,000. Uh, maybe our cheapest field. I can't see one that's smaller than that anywhere around here. Uh, possibly, yeah. So uh, field 109 at the bottom seems to be the cheapest. Uh, most expensive looking at this seems to be... Around about field 77, which is 135,000. Can't see anything really here uh, that is more expensive than that or looks larger. So, uh, yeah, 135,000 seems to be the most expensive field. Uh, this woodland up here will cost you more, though. So if you want to do the forestry in this, this woodland area at the top, you're looking at about a half a million each section. Uh, there is some cheaper woodland inside, but even those. So, yeah, if you want to do any of the larger bits of uh, woodland on here, that's going to cost you more. Um, whereas there are a couple of spots that sort of, yeah. So there's a couple of spots of woodland you could do and, and forestry that are smaller on here uh, as well. Um, lots of variety in this map, lots of fields. Uh, there are multiple farms. Uh, we've got this one here, but I think we've got a farm over here and a farm over here as well. Uh, possibly. Oh, no, there's one there. I can see, uh, cows there. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of variation in this map, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, we are currently located at the shop which i'm not exactly sure where that is on this map just looking for where i am which is down here so we're down here we're gonna head out uh try and work our way around the map and um, visit as many places as we can lots of them really really far at the edges so uh we'll see how far we get but we got our trusty uh, Land Rover Discovery here that we're going to go and have a look around the map and see what we got. So we'll zoom out a bit and get the map up. And we are going to start with a uh, left turn out of here. I think we're probably going to end up with, at the shop at the end again um, because of how we're going. Now, this was released... Uh, separately for quite a while before it got released uh, to uh, in general on the mod hub and uh, it got released at the mod hub at the beginning of April so this has been out uh, nearly a month now and I think it's I've heard lots of really good things about this map it does look really nice um, it is listed as an Irish map but a lot of people have said to me that it feels very much like a uh, an English map um, and I can see where they're coming from in that uh, I've played a lot of Irish maps and a lot of English maps and it does feel a little bit on the English side uh, what have we got here we have got a sell point for I think this is the grain mill yeah so this we've got the grain mill down here and we also have uh, the cereal factory so that's quite useful get flour from no actually the flour from the grain mill doesn't go into the cereal factory so you've got uh, two buildings here that will deal with your grains and uh, allow you to get those into the production chain. So that's quite good. If we head back out onto this road here. And head down here. We start heading towards the edge of the map. 
I'm just trying to... I'm keeping an eye for where we might hit the edge and see the edge. Here, though, we have got the animal market. So, uh, purchase point for our animals here. And then over this way, it looks like we've got a sell point. Not 100% certain what that's for. Uh, and we have another sell point over here. So... Uh, and this is this is the Hope Bellon uh, sell point for this. So I'm guessing that uh, this is probably a sell point for grains here, and possibly I I would probably think that's a sell point for being down here at the animal. Uh, place it's gonna be for straw i would guess we will try and have a look and see what these sell points are for uh a little bit later let's see we still have stuff to go and check out down here out and around there we go and get on the right side of the road uh some interesting uh vistas and views as we're driving around here uh, lots of trees. I can't. This this is a good forestry map. I think there's a lot of options for that on here. I'm just trying to get into here because down here. Yeah, we got another cell point. Ah, this is the spinnery. So we have got a production facility for uh, cotton and wool down here. Where is the purchase point for it there must be a purchase point around here somewhere yeah here we go so that's around the back and yep yeah, that's the spinnery so that's uh very nice and uh see that down here as well really well hidden in the trees this trying to get uh round and out fairly enclosed but lots and lots of fields on this so many fields right we've got a roadway down there i don't know if we can cut through on some of this stuff what do we have down this steep road down here ah now this looks like a farm i think this uh, as i was saying earlier there are multiple farms here there is a cow yeah this is a dairy farm that's a cow area so multiplayer this map's quite good because there are multiple farms available on here i think that might be pigs in there is that pig yeah that must be pigs in there as well and the interesting thing is these are not showing up on my map so because i don't own this uh farmyard or this land these buildings aren't showing up there's there's the manure heap extension there that's part of this barn but yeah the actual animal pens and things aren't showing up so they are nicely done and you you don't own any of these areas unless uh you actually own the land which is always good to see yeah that's a that's a really good attention to detail on a map if uh if that if they've just not ooh, if they've just not made everything ex uh, available uh straight up on the map if you actually have to buy the land to get uh the buildings that is brilliant i love to see that now uh, really nice with all the the hedges and the uh and the trees and it feels really enclosed in places which is absolutely fantastic for this type of map and here we've got the raisin factory so uh yeah tip your grapes in there and you get your raisins and grape juice out the front been using that quite a bit on the old stream farm recently so uh, we're gonna head back up to the uh, main road area and uh, continue around the map so we're back up by field one where we turned down to head that way and we're gonna head to the left and continue around here there seems to be a lot of farm tracks on here and i think the, the road has been used sparingly for the number of fields there are. I'm going to turn down here because I think we've got a farmyard or something through these trees. Uh, large field there. And yes, just up here, just the other side. 
Uh, we do. We have another farm by the looks of things. So in here, uh, lots of placeable buildings, grain store. Yeah, this is this is another farmyard. Uh, sheep pen in there, I think. A couple of uh, lean-to barns, a fuel tank. And, oh, wow. I do like the designs of these yards. They're really interestingly done. Uh, pig farm in here. Uh, that's quite cool. And bring around here. And then, yeah, you've got a house over here. So I'm guessing if you buy this area, you might get a house. Does that does that work? Because yeah, this is this is definitely a uh, a static caravan that uh, in other places would be a house. Um, but can you buy a farmyard? Let's have a look at this. Actually, we are over here, right? But I do I do like the shape of this farm. Uh, it's very very nice. You've got the area there and the air, and then I think that's an animal area there. So I'm going to buy this uh, for 23,000. Yes. Now, does that give me? It does. It gives me a farmhouse. So that, that does there. But do I not? I already have. So that's interesting. I've not, I don't know what effect that will have having two houses uh in your game would be uh which is really interesting i want to sell that yes and you can sell it again but do i have the house still no i don't have the house so uh yeah that was interesting because normally you can't do that you can't place a second house down so uh i don't quite know what effect that would have and you'd probably want to sell off uh, one of the houses fairly quickly if you're going for multiple yards. Because I think that, that could conceivably cause a problem with your game. Right, I am going to head back out to the road up here. And then we're going to take a right to keep back on the main road that we were. Quite a nice little driveway down the back here. Lots of abilities to... Uh, customize this map and, and lots of lots of ways that you can in, improve uh, or change your 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 farms and things on here to match what you want i i am really pleased to see maps doing that now uh, it's the kind of uh, playability and uh, and gameplay that I'm, I'm very much looking for in maps i'm i've been getting frustrated with a couple of maps where I can't customize the farm, where I've I've got stuff that that does not fit in with how I'm looking to play, and I'm I'm going right. I'm going to have to go into Giant's Editor and alter this map. A map like this is great because you have none of that hassle at all, and can absolutely customize your farm how you want. Uh, this is the dairy, so we should be able to purchase this as well. As this too is a production facility. Yep, there we go. Right around the back of there. Um, we've got that for 70,000. Which is absolutely great. You purchase that, of course, without purchasing the land. Which is brilliant. Which is an another reason why it's great to see a map with so many of the productions built into it. Um, because if you have a map where it doesn't and you need to place them... You've got to buy the land and the production facility as well. So it costs so much more. Uh, carpentry here, again, another production facility. Uh, will handle both your wood chips and your logs. So that's good. Round we go. That's just a really nice map, this. I can see why people have been... Uh, going, this is a great map, you should check this out. Because it is really lovely. There's a little bit of re repetition in it. Uh, for example, uh, knowing that that's the edge there, it's it looks very samey. And a lot of the same tree has been used uh, across this map. So you do get a, a, a uniformity to it. Just trying to look at them. and I know what it is, I think. 
Uh, I'd like to have seen... Yeah, you can see it here. So this tree here is placed that way. This tree he here is placed pretty much the same way. So where you've got... You've, you've not got the trees uh, with that much randomness to them. Or is it just that the trees look very similar? I, I don't know. It, it's... There's something... I mean, I stand here and I look at that. And that looks very uniform and, and very similar. Uh, and it's... There's there's a little bit of that to it. Uh, it doesn't take a huge amount away from it. But it is just something that, that going around the map, I would, uh, I would note. Uh, looks like we've got a sell point here of the supermarket. This is not a production facility. So... I'm not expecting to find anywhere yet. So, uh, yeah, that's quite nice. Quite well placed. And uh, nicely in position here. So we'll head back out this way. And we've got another set of shops and things just up here on the left. Or another... Oh, is this another farm? This, this could be another farm. Again, nice entrance to this one. And lots of barns and sheds. Yeah, this is another farm. So that is uh, cows. Uh, we've got a cow shed in here. Uh, we've got grain store. Lots of storage space. And all of this uh, can be removed and redone. Is that a second cow shed? So yeah, this is a large dairy farm, this one. Really nice layout. That is that is a superb layout in this yard. And with two entrances. Yeah, I think that is probably my favourite farm I've come across so far on here. Let's head up this way. Get on the correct side of the road. And we've got another location up here. And you can see you can see the, this issue I have with the edge of the map. Uh, as we get closer to it, this this sort of this uniformity to it. There we are. I don't know how you fix that so much. I've seen uh, it, with with maps that that raise at the sides, it's it's easier to hide that. But um, yeah, here here it's not so much. Uh, nice small yard. This looks like no animals. Uh, good starting yard. I bet this is fairly inexpensive. This one. So we are up here. Uh, oh, wow. So you own, you get two bits either side of the field. 18,000. As a start from scratch farm, I really like that. That is, uh, that is a cracking little starting farm. Looks like a covered uh, silage silos there. What is the other half of this uh, over here? Is it just the house? I think it might just be the house that is that is pretty cool so yeah all of the farmyards come with their own house and everything uh which i really like we've got ah this is the bakery oh no no this is the uh clothing factory so uh that's up here how much is the clothing factory i'm expecting it to be the standard price yep hundred thousand but these are really great way to earn lots of extra money. They, uh, the price of clothes is really high. We've got one or oh, a couple more bits up here. Right at the edge of the map. Just inside. Uh, just inside the woodland, which is interesting because I've been calling it the edge of the map. But it's not quite, especially up the top here. Uh, this is the oil factory. So canola, sunflower, and soybeans, I think, go into here. Uh, again, it's a production facility. So that must be down the side here. There we go. Yeah, oil mill. Really interesting seeing some of the prices around here. Right, we've got a roadway down and out here because we're up at the edge of the map. So I'm going to see if we can get through this way. Whether this just goes to the corner of this field. No, it does go round. 
because we have a big farmyard just up over here. And I really, I actually, one of the things that I'm hoping is that all of these roads and everything on, on this map are connected. Because that would be brilliant. That would make, you know, all of these uh, farm roads and everything uh, really, really cool. Because it would give a, 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 an interconnectability to everything on this map, which uh, which would be pretty awesome. Uh, but, oh no, does this, yeah, we do have a roadway down the side here. Now, I like the width of this bit of road that we're going down at the moment a bit more than the width of the road we were on. It feels very, very wide where we were before. I'm not sure, though, that this is a bit of road. Where is it? Yeah, no, this is, this is supposed to be a road going around here. It is a little bit wide for my liking. Uh, in here, yeah, it gets a little bit less wide. Wow, you could get lost on these roads, though, on this map. That is really nicely done. As I said, having uh, interconnecti uh, interconnectability across this whole map, that is something really cool. Normally, you only get this sort of on the main roads. Here, you're getting it around all the fields, taking you... Uh, around all the areas and uh, and bringing you bringing you a, a sense that you're on the farm so it's not like lots of maps have come across where you you drive into the farmyard and you have to drive out on the main road even to get into the field next to your farm here you everything is interconnected that's really cool massive uh, dairy farm barn uh, lots of lean twos. This is the a new farm, a starting farm. And yeah. Wow. Uh, Meridian silo. A uh, silage. Uh, a silage clamp. This is a quite a big yard. Lots to explore in here. Fuel tank. Uh, more cow yard. This is a massive dairy farm is what this is. Uh, you've got buildings out that way. Wow. I do like this farmyard. This farmyard is very nice. We will start, we'll see what equipment you start with on new farmer in this yard. But that is, that is quite cool. A nicely designed farmyard that is. And then in here we've got, is that a? pig pen inside right next to the house yeah i think that is i think that is uh let's have a look oh no it's chickens it's chickens right next to the house is what this is oh yes uh, that makes more sense you wouldn't want a pig pen right next to your house uh garage which we've got a truck in that says cavalier on it very nice touch and uh yeah here we've got our wardrobe at the side of the house and then our sleep point over here. Yeah. A dog house and a dog. And yeah. That's uh, that's a really nice layout. I like this yard. It It's it's a good starting position. Very, very nice. And as I said, I'm really quite impressed uh, that there are all those interconnecting roads on here. That is, uh, that is really cool. Uh, and my only criticism on the uh, on the dirt roads is they feel a little bit wide. Uh, I, I normally, exp you know, and, and farm tracks are are not as wide normally as a main road is. So we're going to head down this way. This should take us to what seems to be a fairly large industrial area. Again, roads going down the sides of the fields. Ah, yes. So we've got the shop where we started. And then bring this over here. We've got to head into here, I think. Yeah, there we go. And this is the location of the BGA. So massive silage clamp to the left there as we come in. Uh, two places to unload into the bga uh but i think they are part of yet yeah, they are all part of the same bga uh which costs a whopping one and a half million uh, as it does um and we've got 
a loading point up here and yeah so this again this is the standard game bga lots of uh unloading and loading areas and this is huge um but uh nicely placed and uh and yeah really really quite liking that we head back out and i'm just gonna pop down the road here actually there is stuff behind the shop i want to see if i can get into quickly don't quite know how to get at it without going into the shop or maybe actually it's down yes so we've got a fuel station yes fuel station in here then uh we've got the sugar mill here so yeah this is a fairly large industrial area we've got at the back of the shop a uh, lots of production down here um what well, looks like a what is that that is a grain i think that's a grain mill or uh yeah, that's... Oh, sorry, that's the grain elevator. So that's the cell point. Uh, we've got the stone crusher over here. Cell point. And then we got the biogas plant there as well. So yeah, lots tucked in around the back here. And it looks like we've got uh, one other item. Yeah, what's that? that? Oh, that is the sugar mill that we passed on the way in. So, yeah, lots of production there. Not too far from your large farm. Uh, so, uh, that's uh, pretty cool. That works works well to, to get stuff too quickly. So, if we head back down this way and out here, and I'm going to zoom out from my truck a bit so you guys can get a good view of where we're driving. A good kind of zooming in because we're, we have points like here where we can't see through the trees let's see can we get into that looks like a house okay so it's this dirt road here i mean some dirt roads you would expect to be larger because they would have larger equipment on them but i think this is a farmyard yeah this is another farmyard large cattle sheds uh big you know what this is despite the field size of the fields on here i think you're going to be wanting to use some uh, high end of medium sized equipment on here uh high end of it uh high end of medium because you're not going to fit the really big stuff down the roads um uh, and your your fields aren't that large to really justify a a, a large bit of uh, of equipment i am wondering if all of the hedges because all the hedges on here seem to be a standard uh setup i'm wondering if all the hedges on here are removable so it's one thing that was that was said about the map is that that the hedges are removable i'm just just wondering if they are all removable because that would be something that would be pretty amazing uh to have a map that is fully customizable and you can just go around and uh and remove hedges from them would be yeah pretty amazing taking uh taking the placeable system and everything to the next level fresh produce and so that's down and around here so sell point again i think this is the market it's the farmer's market i think this is the farmer's market so uh just a straight up sell point in here and then heading back down wow oh see you can't it's so easy to get lost on here let's bring this out and around here I do like what's been achieved here. Basically using the standard in-game uh, buildings and uh, and stuff that's available. There's doesn't doesn't seem to me like there's any custom buildings being modeled for this or anything like that. It's it's taking the standard game stuff and and building a map with it. And it's done really well. 
There we go. We have got a cell point around the back of here. Uh, yeah, here we go. In fact, it's not a cell point. It is a production facility and it's the bakery. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really nice. I mean, everything fits in on here. I I I said it earlier and it it doesn't really feel massively an Irish map to me. It it doesn't having gone around with all the buildings and everything. It doesn't massively feel like a an English map to me. As I was saying earlier, uh, it doesn't have that feel about either of them. I I don't know. It's a bit. It's a bit of a strange one. It's a beautiful map, and and works really well. Uh, as uh, from a playability point of view, I'm just not sure about it from a from a feeling of uh, of of where its setting is. I mean, I'm, and people have said this to me, um, but I think I think it's a gorgeous map. It really is. Oh, let's bring it back around. And I want to try and get back to... Well, let's just have a look at this map. Uh, have we got anywhere? So we've been all down there. In fact, I think we've been everywhere. So I'm going to head back up to the shop. And we'll have a look at our starting equipment. And the, uh, see how that fares on this map. So let's turn into the shop and we'll just park up outside. Seems to be a lot of stuff here is taken from uh, Hope Bellon rather than the uh, rather than American map from Elm Creek. I think some of this would possibly have done quite nicely from Elm Creek as well. Uh, a couple of buildings and things would have would have fit in fairly well. Anyway, let's have a look at what the equipment you start with on here. So, uh, quite a large array of equipment we have on here. Starting in the small tractors, uh, you've got a Fent Vario uh, 314, uh, Massey Ferguson uh, MF5S145, and the uh, Brewer 6105. So, three small tractors. Uh, medium tractors, you've got the Vultra 8750. Wheel loaders, you've got a Class Torion 1511. That, I think, is a really good idea when you're starting with such a large cow farm. Uh, cars, you've got... Well, we've got the, the Discovery I've added, but you start with a Lisa Pickup 1986. Uh, you get the ELHO a Scorpio 550 Stone Picker. You have the Coon DC 401 Subsoiler. Uh, the Coon TF 1512 uh, Front Tank for Cedars. Uh, you have a Breedle K105 and an Amazon KATS. 3200 uh spreaders which is interesting you get both of those for grassland care you get some dalbo maxi roll 630 green line rollers mowers uh you get the coon gdm 80 uh, 8730 ff and the coon gmd uh 3123f Headers, you get a Bicon Phonics 904. Wind rowers, you get a Sam's Z2840H. Uh, forage wagons, uh, you get the Boss Alpine 251. Balers, uh, you get the Massey Ferguson MF1840 uh, small baler. Bale loaders, you get the Arcusen Multipack D14. An absolute must if you've got that small baler in here. Otherwise, you'll be forever picking up small bales. Front loaders, uh, you've got the Hoa XB150, uh, which has a set of Albert bale spikes for it as well. 
wheel loader tools you got the albert silage fork so uh, yeah that's uh useful for sorting your silage uh you get the bremner transport wagon tp 500 s uh low loader and then finally you get two 10 winkle pack 750 weights so a good array of equipment in here um Interesting that in cedars you get just the front tank, but no actual cedar. So that's a little bit of an oddity, uh, as is the fact that you get two fertilizer spreaders. I'm guessing the reason for that is because that's for lime and that's for fertilizer. But I probably wouldn't have had both of those and had a cedar instead uh otherwise um absolutely brilliant for grassland and for doing cows uh you pretty much have everything in here to feed cows uh there is no water trailer um fortunately uh for the cows so uh yeah there's no way of doing the water although actually thinking about it the reason for that is because those large cow uh barns don't require water they're hooked up so your cows will be all right so in fact yeah this is great you have a baler and yeah so you can create hay bales you can create silage bales or you can create silage uh yeah this is this is a pretty good setup if i was coming in here i would probably reduce the number of tractors i'm starting with uh four tractors seem to be a little bit excessive uh, for what what you're starting with here so um yeah uh, all in all though that's not bad uh i would certainly say other than the cedar you're not missing uh anything that you would need and to be perfectly honest i think you are looking to sell the seed tank or uh, and sell the fertilizer spreader and uh and go that way and maybe get a couple of other bits that would be more useful to you uh, otherwise though i think it's uh i think that's a nice setup uh it's a gorgeous map it works really well and given that it is built entirely uh or it appears to be built entirely using uh items from the base game maps i think it's really really well put together uh, i recommend going checking out i think it would make a great single player map I think it would make an absolutely fantastic multiplayer map. So yeah, head over to the Mod Hub and check it out. Um, I think it's great. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave this video here though. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this first look. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.